The empennage, also known as the tail or tail assembly, is a structure at the rear of an aircraft that provides stability during flight in a way similar to the feathers on an arrow. The word empennage is derived from a French word empennage, which means to feather an arrow. Most aircraft consists of a tail incorporating vertical and horizontal stabilizing surfaces which stabilizes the aircraft in pitching and yawing motions. Let's now see the different types of tails in an aircraft. Conventional tail. This is the most common type of tail configuration used in all commercial aircrafts. T-tail. In T-tail, the horizontal stabilizer is mounted on top of the vertical stabilizer, creating a T-shape when viewed from the front. T-tails are very efficient and give better pitch control as they are out of the wing and engine wake. T-tails are more efficient on low-speed aircraft. One major disadvantage of T-tail is that they are more likely to enter a deep stall and is more difficult to recover from a spin. Cruciform tail. In this configuration, the horizontal stabilizers are placed midway up the vertical stabilizer, giving the appearance of a cross when viewed from the front. Cruciform tails are often used to keep the horizontal stabilizers out of the engine wake while avoiding many of the disadvantages the T-tail has. Twin tail. A twin tail, also called an hedge tail, consists of two small vertical stabilizers on either side of the horizontal stabilizer. Twin boom. A twin boom has two fuselages or booms with a vertical stabilizer on each and a horizontal stabilizer between them. Wing and wingtip mounted designs are highly unusual. The Katla suffered from numerous technical and handling problems throughout its short service career. The type was responsible for the deaths of 4 test pilots and 21 other US Navy pilots. Over one quarter of all the Katlas's built were destroyed in accidents. No fin, flying wing. A flying wing is a tailless fixed wing aircraft that has no definite fuselage. The crew, payload, fuel and equipment are typically housed inside the main wing structure of the aircraft. Multiple fins. These aircraft have three or four vertical stabilizers. Ventral fin. Ventral fins are located underneath the fuselage, often used in addition to a conventional fin as on the North American X-15 and Dornier 335. V-tail. A V-tail can be lighter than a conventional tail in some situations and produce less drag. The control surfaces on the tail of these airplanes are called rudder waiters. Rudder waiters are a combination of rudders and elevators. The same control surface is used both for pitching and yawing. X-tail. Few aircraft with this type of tail are fitted with a wheel on each surface so that the aircraft could sit on its tail and take off and land vertically. Tailless aircraft. A tailless aircraft has all its horizontal control surfaces on its main wing surface. It has no horizontal stabilizer but still has a vertical stabilizer. Thanks for watching BS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget, press the bell icon. The choice is yours.